Let's take a look at finding a confidence interval about the difference between two population proportions using HP uh, prime uh, graphic calculator. Now here's a problem. In a poll of 1,000 men, 200 said they believed in UFOs. In a poll of 780 women, 100 said they believed in UFOs. Construct a 95% confidence interval for the difference between the two population proportions. Proportion of men minus proportion of women. When you're reading a problem, it's important for you to understand which one goes first. And I made it very clear in my example here, but it may not be clear in your, your, your problem you're looking at. Again, uh, that's the whole key, is which one, which one goes first. Because if you think about subtraction, just, just numbers, not proportions. But if you think of subtraction, 3 minus 1 gives you 2, but 1 minus 3 gives you negative 2. So if you're, if you're doing one of these problems and you seem like you're getting uh, kind of the opposite results, uh, instead of getting a positive, you're getting a negative, probably means you, you interpreted the setup wrong. Okay. You want to be back at your application library. If you're not already there, push your apps button. And um, we want to go over to um, the second row, the third column, inference, and press enter. Now the method type, um, if you press enter, we want to choose confidence interval. So if it isn't already selected, then uh, if hypothesis test is selected, for example, you want to select a confidence interval and press enter. And then you down arrow to the type and you press enter. And these ones that uh, have the minus in between it, these are the differences. You can see this is mu1 minus mu2. This one's mu1 minus mu2. Those are obviously our mean. This one here, and I don't know if it's a flaw with the calculator or, or that symbol they meant to put in there, but this is the difference between two population proportions. Uh, it looks like pi sub 1 minus pi sub 2, but it should be p1 minus p2. Anyway, I'll press enter on it to select it. Now that's symbolic view. The plot is where we look at the graph, and numeric view is where we actually enter in our data. So I come over here, and... Um, you see it's asked me for x1, n1, and that's the x1 and n1 are based upon which one comes first here. Like in my example, the men uh, I put first, which means that um, I would use the values for the men in x1 and n1. So in a poll of 1,000 men, 200, so I'll put 200 there, press enter, and let me actually go ahead and enter n1 while I'm at it, put 1,000. Okay, now women came after the minus here, so they're going to be my X2, N2. And it says in poll of 780 women, 100 said they believe in UFOs. So I'll put 100 in for X2, and for N2, I want to put 780. Okay, um, this is our confidence level. They tell us construct a 95% confidence interval. So I'll put in 0.95. I already had it, but uh, you type in 0.95 and you press enter. Now this calc button right here, if you click that, then this is going to give you your, your confidence interval. And let me bring up a tablet so I can write on it. I ran it to four decimal places, I guess. So 0.0377. And the other one is 0 0.1059. Okay. Now if I flip those around, click OK here, and I put uh, 100 here, and 780. Come up here, put 200. And put 1,000 here. Now if I just calculate, see what I come up with. I come up with negative values. Um, which you can see here um, is same numbers. They're just um, a negative version of it. And it's actually flipped around. This one's over here and this one's over here. Now having negative values there is not necessarily wrong. It depends on how the problem's worded, and that's what you have to really, really think about. 
I look at OK here and I click apps go back there. Um, now I specifically made it really simple here. Um, I spelled it out, which was first. But it said if it said construct a 95% confidence interval for the difference between two, between uh, the men and women, where men came first, then you set it up this way. If I said construct a 95% confidence interval for the difference between the women and the men, I put women first, then I put women here and I put men over here. So again, very important that you actually read it, see which one comes first. In this uh, video, we took a look how to find the confidence interval, uh, the differences between two population proportions.